Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Rapid City Real Estate News. Uh, if you don't know me already, my name is Christian Morrison, um, and I'm a local real estate agent here in the Rapid City, Black Hills area, and this is Rapid City Real Estate News. So, um, just to get straight into today's uh, topic of discussion, um, the market has showed some signs, and I have a little anecdotal story for you guys a little bit later, um, of the market picking up and gaining some traction again. So, a couple of key things I'm looking at this week. We got 20 houses to the market. It's the most we've seen in a while. Uh, median price in those is 317. And now this number we haven't seen in about a couple months. Um, of those 20 houses, three of them, three of them, one of them being one of my listings that I'm going to tell you about, uh, went under contract in the first week. Now, um, what does that tell us? That means things are starting to move quickly again. And it tells us another thing uh, that sellers are getting more realistic on their pricing and pricing them appropriately. Now, 15 houses sold for a little bit less than asking price, about nine grand on average. And that's a good number, 15. Um, and then 152 houses are total active on the market right now in Rapid, which is still extremely low. You know, a few months ago, we were at 200 uh, per week on average. Now we're at 152, kind of par for the course of the winter, but we're gonna start seeing more pop up and we already have. The biggest category of listings currently active is still that 300 to 500,000 range. We've got 88 houses in that range at a median price of 379. Now, um, what this week has taught me and told me about what's happening in the market and what's probably going to continue to happen um, is a few things. One, I listed a house on Tuesday of last week um, and by Wednesday at 12 p.m. we had it uh, accepted offer on it. So in about 22 hours, it was listed and then accepted offer. Uh, we had around 10 showings on the property in the first day and um, not exactly what I expected. You know, I knew we priced it properly and the marketing was uh, really good on it. Um, obviously, I did it, so <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, but the marketing was good on it, obviously. The pricing was uh, just right. My client took my advice on pricing and we sold it uh, for a great deal on the first day. Now, what that's telling me, like I said, is that the market's picking up and that there is buyers coming back in the market, getting used to these interest rates. Plus, there's so many lenders. I've talked about it with Carrie, who was on the uh, podcast a little bit while back, um, about the programs that lenders are having that are helping people buy these houses and making it to where the interest rate is not as big of a deal um, as it is for someone who's just using some lenders not offering any incentives or just looking at the news and seeing what interest rates are or whatever. Um, there's plenty of options out there to make your interest rate quite a bit lower and make it more affordable for you. So I personally think that we're going to continue seeing this pop in the market for the next couple months, seeing things go on um, go on the market, price properly, that will sell right away. So if you're one of those people in Rapid City who has been on the fence about selling your house, I think coming up February, March is going to be a sweet time to list because it'll be kind of that sweet spot where there's not a ton of stuff on the market. Um, but there is quite a bit of buyers out there. So like the house I listed, it's got nine other buyers out there still looking that didn't get this house. Only one of the 10 got it. So we got nine other ones that are looking for a property similar to that. So, uh, you know, if you have a property in a nice desirable area, clean, nice inside, in a nice neighborhood, a lot, a lot, a lot, and you price it properly, February, March, I think are gonna be a sweet spot to list your house and get quite a bit of money for it and have a lot of people looking at it. Now, the flip side of that is if you're a buyer, um, I still think it's a, it's a really decent time actually, because you can get some of these deals, but if you go with the right lender, it's kind of the key right now. Don't go with just any old lender or just any old bank. Really do your research and pick a good lender or talk to me or your agent or whoever you want to talk to about it and make sure you're getting a good lender that's offering some of these incentives that people are offering right now. Now, if I were me in this market as a buyer, I'd personally probably go either a new construction or a newer build just because there's a lot of those on the market right now and you can find some really good deals on that stuff. Or I'd go with something a few years old, a few years old that um, has the landscaping done because to me that was the most annoying part of buying a new house myself was doing the landscaping. So I might find something that's a little bit older, like three or four years, and the Hardy has the landscaping done that I can move into, but it's still pretty much a new house. Now, as always, guys, if you got any questions, you want to talk to me about your scenario, you're looking at moving here, whatever this scenario is, hit the link below in my, it says uh, schedule a call with me. It's the calendar link. It puts a link in my calendar to give you a call and it'll block out a time on my schedule. So, all right, guys, thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next week. Peace.